In the early morning of April 17, a missile was fired at the military aerodrome located in Kankoy, Crimea. Local telegram channels reported on this. After the strike, a strong explosion and fire occurred. The extent of the damage and losses are not reported. According to some information, the airfield where Russian helicopters were located in Crimea was hit by Atacams. Zankoy is an active state airfield in Russian-occupied Crimea. The 39th Helicopter Regiment of the 27th Composite Aviation Division of the 4th Air and Air Defense Forces Command of the Southern Military District of the Russian Federation is stationed there. Additionally, there are three aviation squadrons with Mi-8, Mi-35M, Mi-28 and Ka-52 helicopters. Border Service helicopters of the Russian Federal Security Service are also stationed at Zankoy. Ukraine has not confirmed the responsibility for the explosions in Crimea. However, in recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military bases, which Russia used to attack Ukraine. Kremlin-appointed authorities in occupied Crimea reported later about the closure of a highway linking Zankoy with the village of Pobidin. A military airfield is reportedly located in that area. Ukrainian partisans have discovered Russian air defense systems at the Zankoy airfield. The partisans note that the Russian command is trying to close down important infrastructure facilities by all means possible, but there is a critical shortage of air defense systems. April 17, at the Kryaz airfield, which is located in Samara of the Russian Federation, the Soviet multi-purpose helicopter Mi-8 was destroyed, this is reported by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. According to the intelligence agency, the Russians used the helicopter in the war against Ukraine. In particular, the enemy transported weapons and personnel in it, the cost of the Mi-8 ranges from 10 to 15 million dollars, designed by Mil Moscow helicopter plant, the Mi-8 series the most successful in the history of Russia's helicopter industry. Mi-8 series helicopters have won respect and admiration from helicopter operators around the world thanks to their advanced flight capabilities, high level of reliability and adaptability, ability to operate in a wide range of climatic conditions and ease of operation and maintenance. The Mi-8 boasts an ever-expanding range of operational capabilities thanks to Russian helicopters' ongoing upgrade programs. The helicopters can be fitted with a wide range of additional equipment to tackle a variety of missions. The helicopter boasts low levels of noise and vibration, is fitted with cabin climate control systems, and has emergency exits that meet the latest safety standards. Everything is designed to ensure passenger in-flight comfort and safety. A drone attack has been launched on the territory of Russian Republic of Tatarstan, Russian Defense Ministry reported. According to the report, the air defense system has been activated and drones shot down in the city of Yelabuki over the factory where Shahid drones are manufactured. The workers of the plant have been evacuated from the area. No casualties are reported. The work of the local airport has been temporarily suspended. Note that this is the second drone attack on the Republic of Tatarstan. There were drone attacks on the cities of Yelabuga and Niznakams on April 2. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred at the Elaznefta product in Yelabuki and Taniko oil refineries in Nejnakams. At the same time, an attack was launched on the Alabuji Polytech factory engaged in the production of drones in the dormitory located in the Alabuji Special Economic Zone. Лахты даже поехали, людей разбирать, смотри. Неужели опять что-то будет, да, сука? Да. 